what made you choose uh, characters from Senegal and uh, Syria and not Central or South America? Um, I don't like people from Central and South America. <laughs> I should put that out there right now. Uh, <laughs> wouldn't that be awkward in this group? No. Um, <laughs> now let's go get a drink. Uh, no, it really was born of a couple of things. One, as I said, I started this as a character study. So although there is a political element, and I think uh, one that certainly merits discussion, and hopefully this, at the very least, this film will promote that on some level. First and foremost, it started with two characters. Uh, a lot of the people I met in Lebanon, and, and, uh, and of course, Walter's character. And then I just felt, in, in starting to do the research, that's when I started stumbling across these detention centers and, and really got, you know, spent a year sort of immersing myself in the world of immigration. I became a visitor. I really ran into very few people from Latin Central America. Might have been luck of the numbers, I don't know, but that was just my experience. Many African, many Middle Eastern, Malaysian, Chinese. Um, I don't know if that's, and, you know, in talking to my friends who are lawyers on both coasts, LA specifically and New York, uh, they were like, yeah, you know, there's definitely, it depends where you are, what region. So it just seemed to, for a number of reasons, to fit the story uh, that I was interested in telling. And then I think I chose Syria as opposed to Lebanon because of the regime there, because of the stakes, and uh, because of what it meant specifically to Tariq and to his mother, Muna. There are so many stories, as, as a lot of the people in this audience are well acquainted with, that there comes a point where you just got to choose one and run with it.